how can you control an instrument that uh, has not a smart map yet? If you don't find your instrument in the list of the smart maps, it doesn't mean that you cannot use it with Camelot. You can always use the MIDI controls and the MIDI messages to create your setup for your live performance. In this case, Camelot has different tools. One tool is the MIDI item that uh, can be used in three different flavors. One is the single MIDI program, that is the basic and the most quick and easy to use. Another one is the multi MIDI program that can be used to control multi-part instruments in a very deep way. And finally, we have the advanced MIDI program. The advanced MIDI program is very useful because also can record by MIDI Learn any message that your instruments is transmitting. So if you don't have the MIDI implementation chart and your instrument, for example, is transmitting in the MIDI out port the program change message or a CISX or any message that is useful for you to record and play back in your setup, you can do that with the advanced MIDI program. Let's see how we can do that. So, on the other instrument, we will find all the smart maps. If your instrument is not listed here, you can go in the MIDI programs, in MIDI single part, and then select the MIDI message that you want to send. Let's say that we know that we want to load the sound on the, with the program change number 10, with the bank select MSB and LSB set to zero. We just have to select here the MIDI port. Let's pretend that the Studio Logic Select is not supported, but I can select it, okay. And then try to send the send message. This is the first sound if I select the program change number two. As you can see, I can control without a smart map the sledge as well. In this case, you can add, pressing done, this MIDI program to your scene. And every time you recall this scene, that MIDI program will send the correct uh, program change information to your instrument. What you can do, as I anticipated before, you can also use multi-part item or advanced MIDI items. The advanced MIDI item has a MIDI Learn feature that allows to record any MIDI message incoming from the instrument to Camelot. Let's see how it works. You press the Learn button, in this case a Studio Logic Sledge, and now just switch the sound from the instrument panel. If I move from uh, number 5 to number 6, Camelot will record the program change. If I do stop learning, Camelot will be able to retransmit this information every time you load this MIDI program in your scene. Let's see why we have this red badge. That means that there is possibly a MIDI issue on the connection. So let's open the MIDI program. Let's go down. The reason why the MIDI port wasn't selected. In this case, I can select again the Studio Logic Sledge and apply it. Another interesting feature about the advanced MIDI program is the possibility to import CISX files. For example, if you have a Yamaha Reface instrument, you can go and download your preset from SoundMondo and then you can also import those presets into a Camelot item and recall it every time you need them. Let's see how it's possible to do that. You just need to press the add button and on the add button you can select any MIDI message for a manual input. In this case you can select uh, for example CISX and you can upload your file here or if you are an expert you can also edit the CISX file directly here on Camelot. We have seen that uh, it's possible to use MIDI programs to control any instrument. Now we will see how we can collect those MIDI programs and uh, organize them into a custom map. My suggestion is not to create a map from scratch and uh, uh, collect 
all the instrument preset of your instrument. It will take too long, it will be a very long task to do. I suggest to use the MIDI programs as you need. So basically, when you need a new sound, you find the right sound, you create the MIDI program and you add that to a scene. Then what you can do is to select that MIDI program and add it to a custom map. In this case it will be very easy to collect step by step and during your normal workflow your favorite instrument map. Let's see how you can do that. In this case I have a MIDI program, let's call it uh, Sledge, the name of the preset is uh, Chiller, this is the preset that uh, is assigned to number 4. In this case I can click on the item and uh, I can press add to map button, to custom map button, and I can create a new folder that I can call it Studio Logic. Let's choose the color, the orange color, and then the instrument map, Sledge. So the result is that I have added to a Studio Logic Sledge custom map this program. This is my suggestion to collect uh, step by step and day by day your MIDI program. Of course there is the possibility to work on the map directly. So you can press the add new preset button, the edit button and build your own map also from scratch. It's up to you. You can um, work on the map maybe collecting your favorite 10, 20 sounds from scratch and from this feature or as I suggested to collect them one by one when you need them.